I'm from a Muslim country, and my parents are Muslim, and I want to wear hijab, and my parents does not want me to do that. Subhanallah, this is a real phenomena. This is real. This is not a one case. You hear it every now and then. This you see it in, unfortunately, a lot of our Muslim community, where you see the youth. We all complain about the youth. The number one issue that we complain about and is like we are losing our youth. Our youth are not connected with Allah. Our youth are distracted. Here you go. That's a youth, a she, who wants to do the most difficult decision any woman will do. And those of you who wear hijab, you know what I'm talking about. I would love to talk to the parents afterward in private if you are in the audience so we don't expose people. But I want them to ask themselves these two questions. Why don't you want her to do that? What you will tell Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala on the day of judgment when he will ask you and he said, why did you be in her path to obey me? Hijab is an obligation, my brothers and sisters. Call it what you want to call it. Get excuses what you want to do. But it's fact. It's there. It's in the Quran. It's in the Sunnah. It is there. Why don't I want this young soul, beautiful heart, to grow up with the obedience of Allah? What will she lose? if she had her hijab on. When are we going to be moving past this feeling that if I am a practicing Muslim, then I am not be able to achieve? And if I can ask anyone in this room, especially the sisters, I can, some I know you very well. Those of you who don't know me, I'm a practicing obstetrician and gynecologist. I, and I hate the word I, but I need the parents to hear this. And I trained before September 11, and when September 11, I was in training. The only Muslim, they've never seen a hijabi woman before. They even, they used to look at me and say, what's your religion? Why? Honestly, are you a nun? Exactly. Why? Nothing happened. Trained in the best, the fifth medical school in the U.S. And it did not stop because I was wearing hijab. And the final was me and another blonde woman. And everyone was telling me, they will not take you. This is, I heard this from Muslims. They said, they will not take you. Because OBGYN at that time was extremely competitive. And, and I said, that nobody will give it to me except Allah. If he wants to give it to me, he will give it to me. And the rest is history. No, a'udhu billah. No, I'm not doing I need the parents to hear this. Don't compromise your deen for dunya. Do you think she will not get accepted to Harvard? You want me to show you the picture of people I know they finished Harvard? Woman, beautiful. Even in the Biden administration, there is a woman who wears hijab and a proper full hijab. Some of you may have seen it, seen her. She's from, uh, originally from Pakistan. What is the issue? Why not? Why do I allow my daughter, and I'm speaking, you can feel me with a lot of passion and sadness. Why do I allow my daughters to be on the beach and to be in the clubs, and I have no problem with that. And then when this young heart wants to obey Allah, you come to parents and say no. And I will say this last word because I don't want to take the, and I say you better have a very good answer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you are standing in front of him, and he will ask you, وَكُلُّهُمْ آتِيهِ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ فَرْدَ Everyone will come to Allah as an individual. So please say yes and help her. And I will give my phone number to this girl and to keep her strong. And I will say to her, do it. Even if your parents said no. And Allah will never let you down.